Every platform has its individual uh, traits, and I think one of the things we've learned over the years is, is ports are never just straightforward, but that's just done on that. You always need to make a few changes, and I think you always need to make changes so that it feels natural on that platform. I think fairly early on we decided what we were going to go for first. Um, and the, the barriers to entry to getting things on, on the iPhone are much lower than they are, say, getting them on the PS3. Um, and also the, the cost of production is lower as well. Um, you know, if we, if we decided we were going to go for a, a PS3 game first, it would have taken us a couple of years to make that, and we would have had to have spent uh, tens of thousands of pounds on um, on dev kits and, and various other bits and pieces. I mean, in a lot of ways, it's a good time to be making games now, um, in the sense that there's a lot of platforms and they want your attention. So you know, Sony have got the new Vita coming out. Um, they've got the PS3, yeah, Microsoft have got the Xbox, and uh, so there, there's a whole host of new platforms coming. They all want content on them. So I think if you've got good content and you can purpose that content for those platforms, it's, it's a good position to be in. Originally, when we started the game, uh, me and Stu were you know, sure that that's what we wanted to do was make sure that the stuff we're developing for R and Co would uh, spread across all the platforms, basically. Uh, so the, the code base as it, as it stands at the moment uh, would potentially run on all the platforms that we wanted to. It, it's, it's, again, if you're looking to start your adventure, that's one of the things you need is somebody or some sort of people who are good at that medium breed kind of stuff. It's, there's no way around that. Like any industry, a lot of personal connections really matter. And there's lots of people out there making games, so companies like Sony don't have to work with all of them. They can pick and choose who they want to work with. So they're looking for people who are creative, innovative, doing interesting stuff, and also nice people. You know. This is the first time we've actually had no external pressure at all to, to get something finished. Um, and it's the first time we've, we've basically spent our own money as well uh, making these things. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud that we, it actually exists. <laughs> the end result is pretty close to what we yeah. we agreed to do right at the start, and that that can sometimes be quite a difficult thing to do in, in games development. Quite often, the end result is actually nothing like what you started out wanting, and often it's it's a disappointment compared with the you know the grand ideas that everyone had right at the start. So uh, it, it's a huge challenge, I think as being a challenge for us as making the game is going to be telling people about the game. Um, and yeah, the, the, we put a lot of time and work into that. And again, fortunately, you know, Mike's been able to, to do the stuff coding around the, the Facebook stuff so that the Facebook integrates with our Twitter and Stu's been able to produce great artwork for it. So it's not like it's, it's a complete isolated thing. We're able to put all our resources to this. It's just. When you look at something like Modern Warfare um, 2, for example, the development, the development budget for the game is about a quarter of what the marketing budget is. You know, they're, they're going to be spending 25 million making the game and 100 million marketing the game. Oh, we don't have four times our development budget to promote the game. I mean, I think that's the, probably the biggest challenge, actually, for any indie dev studio is visibility. Uh, and it really doesn't matter how how good a game you make, if no one knows it's out there, it's not going to sell. So, yeah, that's that's something that I think any indie developer who actually wants to make money and, and turn it into a career needs to think about probably as hard as they need to think about the design of the game, to be honest. And you need to start thinking about it as you're making the game, not at the end. It's surprising how how, how important that becomes to you because you, you work hard on this thing and you put it out there and you want somebody to notice it and if nobody notices it that that, that would just be you know, really really bad but I, 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 I don't think that will be the case I think because of the calcium link because of the core computer nature of it we've already got a decent buzz built around it we just don't want to shatter their expectations <laughs>